And now uh, it's my further pleasure to introduce a very important ASME leader and champion to the EGE team, Mrs. Madiha Kalb. Madiha Kalb served as the 132nd president of ASME for the 2013-2014 term in office. She is an ASME fellow and active member of the society for more than 20 years. She has held numerous leadership positions within the organization. Madiha is a licensed engineer in the province of Quebec and has previously headed the Pressure Vessels Technical Division for Régie du Batement du Québec, a board established by Quebec government to ensure the quality and safety of buildings and systems, including safety programs within the field of pressure vessels. She has previously served as a member of the National Board of Boiler Inspectors representing the province of Quebec. Madiha has been a foundational member of the AGD committee and was at the ground floor as the lead volunteer for Engineering for Change when we first got our start. She now serves as a member of the E4C LLC Management Committee and continues to inform our strategy and give us the much needed dose of reality when we need it. Welcome Adiha to the virtual stage. Thank you so much, Yana. And thank to our speakers today from all of us at ASME. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and ideas with us. After hearing all of you speak so eloquently on so different topics, it is easy to be optimistic about the future and the ability of social impact engineers and entrepreneurs to make life better for so many. I also want to thank ASME's entire engineering global development team, Anand, Iana, Mariella, Marilyn, and Jonathan, and the folks at the ASME Foundation who worked so hard to pull this event together. And of course, I want to thank all of our supporters, the funders, sponsors, and donors who believed in this work and who share our vision for a better future. The better future is made possible by the ingenuity of engineers. Your support means the world to us. And I know I speak for everyone at ASME when I convey our deepest appreciation. Of all the amazing events that ASME presents during the year, this one holds a special place in my heart. Maybe I'm because I was there at its inception, so it's kind of my baby. I was a past president in 2014, and like all past presidents, I remain deeply engaged with ASME, and in particular with our engineering for global development work, as Iana noted. I am an enthusiastic member on the EGG, of the EGG committee and serve on the E4C management committee, which provides strategic guidance to this work. And I believe very strongly in what we seek to accomplish. Because EGG is one of the most tangible ways that ASME fulfills its mission to advance engineering for the benefit of humanity. And yes, everything ASME does helps fulfill that mission. But programs like the iShow and platforms like Engineering for Change touch so many lives directly. It is hard not to be inspired, but what I believe is truly noble work. Looking ahead, there is even more to get excited about. This past year, and thanks to a generous grant from the Autodesk Foundation, we doubled our number of E4C research fellows. And as you heard, today we are formally launching the iShow Idea Lab. I want to even go into our new K-12 education initiatives and our exciting Community College Engineering Pathways Project. But trust me when I tell you that these programs are real game changers. With all what we are doing, it is easy to see the positive impact of our ASME community has on the world. It makes me, and I believe all of us, proud of our society and proud of our profession. A minute ago, I thanked all our supporters for participating in Impact Engineer. But did you know that it's easy to join that distinguished group? All you have to do is join me and so many others in making a gift to the ASME Foundations, Campaign for the Next Generations of Engineers. The long goal is to raise $50 million. And trust me, every contribution makes a difference into achieving that goal. The campaign is the primary vehicle for supporting ASME's global development work, 
not just the ISHU and impact engineer, but also our E4C research fellows, our E4C digital community, and our brand new ISHU idea lab. So many powerful programs that address so many urgent needs, and none of it happens without your support. Go to the foundation website at asmefoundation.org slash donate and make a gift online. Trust me, it is quick, easy, and let me tell you from personal experience, it is very satisfying. The last group I need to thank is, of course, all of you. Thank you for taking the time to join us in our annual celebration of impact. I hope you found it as uplifting and inspiring as I did, and that you will be motivated to participate in other coming ASME events. And of course, we will see you right back here next year for Impact Engineer. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Madiha. I hope I'll see you again next year doing the closing remarks. It's a tradition now. <laughs> um, your dedication and support is so invaluable to us, Madiha, and we're grateful for your involvement with our team, be it in Canada, Egypt, or stateside. No matter where you are, we find you. <laughs> I'm equally inspired and energized by the incredible community assembled here today. The future is promising with the innovative and purpose-driven leaders that have shaped and continue to drive the social sector forward. Thank you to all of us for joining this event today. We're now approaching the end of our program and I know we are tight on time. Um, so we'll, we'll be wrapping up on the virtual stage and I'd like to invite those of you who signed up for networking to join us in our guided networking sessions to meet the E4C fellowship team and or the iShow team. Please join your preferred room using the links currently being shared in the chat, which are also available in the networking session description of the Impact Engineer Agenda on our event website. Once you join, you'll be greeted by the team and we'll have a chance to hear from some of the past fellows or ISHA winners. Share your name and location in the chat and have a chance to ask any questions you have. Towards the end of the 15 minute session, there will be a rapid speed random networking with other participants. Thank you and see you in the guided networking session. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.